गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप जनार्दन तांडेल आई एम ए जनरल एंड लैप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन टूडेज टॉपिक विच आई हैव टेकन टू डिस्कस इज ए थायरोग्लोसल सिस्ट और थायरोग्लोसल टैक्ट दिस इज स्वेलिंग इन द नेक सो वॉट इज द थायरोग्लोसल सिस्ट और थायरोग्लोसल टैक्ट नाउ वेन द थायरॉयड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द थायरॉयड थायरॉयड इज इन द नेक विच इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट ग्लैंड सिक्रेटिंग द हॉर्मोन्स सो वेन दिस थायरॉयड इज फॉर्मिंग द थायरॉयड सेल्स कम फ्रॉम द हायर अप that is they come from the base of the tongue foramen cecum and from there they migrate through a tract that through the tract and they to reach its final destination in the neck in this area that is t1 vertebral levels now uh, usually this tract disappears it will dissolve by itself but in some people this tract will not dissolve it will remain over there when it remains over there that will is called as a thyroglossal duct or thyroglossal cyst now whenever there is a collection or fluid collection inside this tract it will form a form like a swelling that, that is called as a thyroglossal cyst now there can be different swellings in the neck from those swellings we have to identify what is thyroglossal cyst in the neck there can be lymph node thyroid swelling lipoma like that variety of swellings can happen now how this thyroglossal cyst or duct is different from the other swelling the swelling of the thyroglossal cyst will be always in the midline or little lateral to the midline and there are the characteristic features of this now which age group if you ask me this problem is common thyroglossal cyst happens mostly in a pediatric that is children that is in first 10 years of age they can present with a swelling in the neck but it can happen in adults also how the patient of thyroglossal cyst will present the patient will come to the doctor with a swelling in the neck that will be mostly in the midline or little lateral to the midline patient can have pain or it can be painless mostly it is painless but when it get it, it gets infected it becomes painful other problems associated with this swelling will be if the size of swelling is big it can compress your windpipe that is trachea and that can cause difficulty in breathing it can compress your eating the tube uh, esophagus that is the the tube through which the food goes inside the stomach if that get compressed which is just behind your trachea if that get compressed with this swelling it can produce dysphagia that is difficulty to swallowing other symptoms which can patient come is like discharge that is pus discharge from the midline there will be some discharging pus which can happen slowly sometimes intermittently uh, what are the findings like what doctor will check in the neck when you are presenting with thyroglossal cyst so doctor will touch it and see whether it is soft it is firm or it is hard to differentiate the this swelling from the other swellings usually thyroglossal cyst will be soft it will be cystic like it, like a a water filled in a balloon it will be soft like that the doctor will check whether it is moving up and down or sides then doctor will press it and see whether you are having in difficulty in breathing after pressing the pressing over the swelling the doctor will ask you to take the tongue out which is most important characteristic feature of thyroglossal cyst when the patient take the tongue out this swelling will move up that is a characteristic and helps in diagnosing the thyroglossal cyst now next question comes how to diagnose what are the investigation you can expect from a doctor so doctor first thing he will diagnose it clinically but he needs to support the diagnosis so doctor will ask you the basic investigation that is sonography of the neck that is ultrasound of the neck ultrasound will help in identifying the size the shape how deep it is and what are the contents inside and how, the extent of the swelling next investigation doctor will ask you in case sonography is not definite doctor will ask you to go for ct scan of the neck after this investigation doctor will ask you to go for fnac that is fine needle aspiration cytology with the fine needle aspiration cytology the content of the cyst can be identified whether there is infection what type of the cells inside or whether there is underlying malignancy in the swelling now next step we will go is what is the treatment for this treatment for this uh, thyroglossal cyst is surgery there is no medical treatment unless there is infection doctor will give you the antibiotics to treat the infection first but final treatment is a surgery that is called as a cyst trunk operation in cyst trunk operation doctor will uh, ask you to get admitted it cannot be done as a day care because patient has to uh, do this procedure under anesthesia have to get admitted for one day next day if there is no problem doctor might discharge you if there are no other issues so during the surgery doctor will identify the cyst it 
doctor has to identify the tract the thyroglossal tract because if that is not removed then it will come back again so doctor will put a special medicine the dye inside the cyst so that it will stain the tract doctor will go higher up there is one bone in this area which is called as a hyoid bone that part of bone also will be removed because this tract usually pierces through the bone that hyoid bone removing that part will not affect any part of your on the neck it will not affect your voice it will not affect the eating swallowing nothing will get affected but it has to be removed and after that doctor has to reach higher up and has to reach up to the base of the tongue because the track will reach up to the base of the tongue from that area doctor will divide it and remove the entire track once that is done there will be some stitches that might be absorbable single line stitch will be there and mostly there is no need to remove the stitches doctor will call you to for a follow up after 5 days if everything is fine then doctor will ask you just to come for uh, come for follow up if required like after 6 month or 1 year if required that specimen will be sent for the biopsy to confirm the diagnosis final diagnosis of thyroglossal cyst and to rule out any malignancy that is cancer inside there is a chance of cancer inside thyroglossal cyst that is around 1% it is less common but still there is a 1% risk of getting cancer in the thyroglossal cyst hence it is important to remove and send it for the biopsy that is how thyroglossal cyst is treated now if you ask me how is the recurrence rate like after removing whether the swelling can come back there is a risk up to 6% it can come back then most commonly it comes back if the track is not removed if complete track is removed along with the part of the hyoid bone then the chance of recurrence is very very less so i hope you understood what is thyroglossal cyst and thyroglossal duct thank you for listening to me and my video thank you very much